Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to be doing our gameplay video today with Prowl, our newly ranked 5 maxed out fully forged character, and he's going to be freaking awesome. Real quick, we're going to take a look at the ability, which is the, where is it, the melee damage buffs, the ones that he gets whenever he dashes backwards. Um, so each melee buff increases damage by 11.7% for 6 seconds for a total of 10 stacks. So 110% extra melee damage is insane. And as you know, he's a scout, so he has really high base attack. And he crits pretty often, so he's going to be doing a whole bunch of damage. And let us go ahead and go up against Mixmaster. Uh, this is the team I'm going to be bringing with him. Synergy-wise, he has some decent synergies. Um... There's one in particular. Let me see. So he has the allies one with Ultra Magnus. Uh, this one, Reckless Driving. I was going to equip some of these guys and then I realized, oh wait, it's not a mutual synergy. So Prowl gives it to them. They don't give it back to Prowl, which kind of sucks, but it's all right. We're going to skip that. Barricading Kickback. Enemies, so 8% attack rating. Going to put those two guys on there. <clears throat> Role Models with Bumblebee. Um, the only thing Bumblebee gives him is armor in exchange for the the role model synergy. Uh, so I didn't really like it, so I was like, ah, we're gonna skip that. So didn't go with that one. Lieutenants with Optimus. If Prowl drains the opponent's power to zero of their max power, he has a 25% chance to stun the opponent for 2.5 seconds. I used to use Optimus, Ratchet, and Prowl in uh, in alliance missions, like back in the day i say back in the day but it's only been like uh like a couple months i think and it was a really good synergy um i would get the stun off every now and then and it was great uh but also adding ironhide into that will give me the where is it this uh brothers in arms synergy the eight percent armor for autobots and eight percent melee damage for autobots and solo missions so it's pretty good not bad uh, so that's what we're going to be running with, guys. And then after I'm done with this um, ROK Mixmaster fight, we're going to jump into 2.1 and we'll start on uh, Chapter 2 for Master. So uh, hopefully it's a quick fight. I am going to be going for mainly a bunch of like special twos. I want to end the fight with as low amount of hits as possible and see if maybe we can beat Mixmaster in like two or three minutes. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys in a little bit.
Holy crap, guys, that is some insane damage with Prowl. Honestly, I'm like freaking just wow. I don't know. <laughs> that was like so much damage with the specialty. I'm probably going to be using uh, the specialty a lot more often. Um, don't know about alliance missions, though. I think I'll probably stick to special ones to power control the lane. Uh, but regardless, he is freaking amazing, like a little mini tantrum that you uh, <clears throat> you can kind of control just about it. I don't know, he's just freaking amazing, man. And then you have all the relics equipped. Uh, so he gets uh, almost 40,000 HP and almost 4,000 attack. And then on top of that, if you ever feel like going through like ROK1 or ROK2, if you haven't done any of those, pop some boost and... My god, Prowl's going to be doing so much freaking damage, but I'm very happy that we pulled the scout. Uh, thank you, guys, all of you guys that uh, congratulated me. I uh, appreciate it, you know. Uh, it was a long time coming. Um, now we just need a Drift. Uh, we just need one for a Drift. We need a Warrior one next. Uh, so maybe we might get that one next soon, hopefully. We'll, we'll find out. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and start on 2.1. It's going to be pretty quick. I'm um, pretty sure Prowl is going to completely destroy whatever lane he goes down. Uh, but we'll see. Who's actually the boss? It's Grimlock. I think this one... I already went through this one on Expert. And I think it's... He has on... He has the Power Flow or something like that. Yeah, Power Charge. Okay. That one can be a little bit annoying. Uh, let's go ahead and keep going. Let's see. What is... What is this... Uh, <clears throat> this Sharkticon on adaptive all right that one's annoying as well because it's tankiness but i think prow would be fine going down that path uh buff duration okay let's go ahead and go down that uh this cycle path and see how things go and we're, let's see uh let's see how prowl does going up against some of these uh this tanky cycle resist mod Probably gonna not do so, too much damage. Alright, that doesn't even matter. It's like, okay. <clears throat> Alright, yeah. Our, uh, our damage is definitely reduced by a lot, but it doesn't matter to be honest. Prowl is just, you know, whenever that resist isn't on whatever we're attacking, on the opposite or whatever, we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of damage. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and continue. Oh, quick story, guys. Oh man, today was quite the day. So I mentioned to you guys that I actually have um, have training uh, this whole week. So I've kind of been up. <clears throat> I haven't been in the office at all. And today I brought my lunch uh, so I can eat at work since I was going to be in training. But the guy I was doing the training with, he didn't bring any food. So he was like, "Hey, do you want to go to lunch with me?" And I was like, "Sure, I'll go with you." Anyways, we go to this restaurant, and <clears throat> I order my food, and I give the guy my card, and he gives me back, like, the receipt so I can sign, and it came out to, like, it was, he said it was, like, ten fifty four, dollars uh, so, like, $10 and something, and I looked at the receipt, and the dude charged me a hundred, yeah, it was a hundred and five dollars and, like, something cents. I was like, um is this 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 can't be right <laughs> and uh, he takes it back and he's like oh my god i'm so sorry and he's like it shouldn't appear in your credit card um but he issued me like the refund and stuff and uh he was like <clears throat> keep the receipt just in case like it does appear or if i don't know something doesn't go right and i was like i sure will buddy <laughs> and uh freaking later on in the day i checked my credit cards uh, like the statement or whatever and sure enough there's a freaking charge pending for hundred and five dollars at the place and I'm gonna give it a couple days I'm gonna give it like uh, three four maybe five days at most uh, to see if like the refund goes through if not I am gonna have to contact the bank and then we'll go from there I was like oh my god man uh, so stupid but <clears throat> it's okay honest mistake Fridays people um fridays are usually like pretty busy days so i was like that's eh, all right dude no worries but yeah it sucked <laughs> it was freaking i'm so glad i caught it too because i was just gonna sign normally like um i don't know it just it looked 
fine for some reason. Then I noticed the extra digit and I was like, yeah, this is not good. <laughs> okay, but um, <clears throat> oh yeah, so what else was I going to talk about? I don't remember. Let me see. Was I going down this path? Yes, I was adaptive. Okay. We'll keep going down this path, guys. And there's some speculation on the forums. A lot of people are saying that the bot for July, June, July, the whatever bot is coming, the new character, it might be uh, Rodimus Prime. Some people are saying Nemesis Prime. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what, what it comes down to after all. But super excited, guys. Hopefully, you guys are excited as well. Hopefully, Kabam really doesn't drop the ball this time on you know any of these uh and uh, this new character release i'm gonna say new until we end up finding out if it's just like a reskinned clone of something with like no new abilities like as far as like animations go um but hopefully hopefully it's different um have faith have faith uh but we'll see we'll see here in a few weeks uh primal he is the mini boss here so he's on melee damage and adaptive 4, special attack 3, and shouldn't be too bad, to be honest. Just basically don't get hit by this guy, and we will be okay. And against Primal, I think I'm going to keep him kind of power controlled. I don't really like uh, avoiding his special one. <clears throat> I don't know why, but every time I go up against like Primal, like if I go in for a dash, and if he has a special one, he will use it, and that one, I almost never am able to successfully, like, sidestep it. So that one always ends up getting me. There it is. I knew it was coming, man. I was like, he's gonna go for it. And let's see if the special two will be enough. Nope. Almost. His freaking little like sidesteps. It looks funny. But there it is, primal down, and I think this is the final Sharkticon, and then it should be the Grimlock. <clears throat> but yeah, man, Prowl is gonna make hopefully my days in Alliance missions a little bit easier. <laughs> it's uh sometimes it can be a bit of a pain, especially like if I die early on, and this that's actually what happened to me yesterday on Sunday's Alliance mission. Um, Cheetor completely wrecked my drift and then I don't know why, I don't know if any of you guys experienced this, but you going up against the Megatron boss in the first uh, section, it's like his special sometimes have like increased range, especially his special one. Sometimes that freaking mace thing flies way the hell across the screen and you basically have to eat damage while you're blocking it or you end up getting hit. And I don't know why it happens. Sometimes it's like a normal standard like special one where you can easily like just avoid it by backstepping. But sometimes it feels like you have to backstep twice. I don't know. Sometimes it just feels like the range gets extended. Uh, it's weird, uh, but definitely I ended up getting caught by that this weekend while I was using freaking Megatronus and he got KO'd and then I got pretty mad <laughs> and then I just sacrificed my Prowl. He ended up dying and then, I don't know, I just basically ended up using like a couple items. So that was a little disappointing for me for sure, but we'll get him next time for sure, especially now that we have our ranked up Prowl. Uh, let's see, so Grimlock, increased buff duration, power charge, adaptive, and that is basically it. So the thing with power charge, guys, is it don't let them reach 8 stacks. I don't know if it's 8 stacks or 9 stacks, but after that they get this crazy surge of power, and if they're basically at anything over like a special 1, they're going to end up getting like a special, <clears throat> a special 3 right away, which you really don't want to end up uh, eating, so... Most of the time, if you have someone that can power control, like Rhinox would be a pretty good choice. Just use a heavy and then try going ham. Or someone like Prowl would also work pretty well. Yeah, so it is 9. Okay, so it's not 8, it's 9. And we'll just let it expire and then we'll go for the special 3 to keep him power controlled for a little bit. And then after that we'll just... we'll go ham on Grimlock. Okay. 
I'm gonna save uh, 10 melee stacks and immediately go for the special. See if this does uh, some decent damage. Probably not so much because he had the physical the melee resistance or whatever equipped. But there we go. Quick and easy win. <laughs> Quick and easy win. It's a freaking five star, of course. All ranked up and max forge. Um, the next couple ones, guys, we'll try using some characters that aren't, you know, maxed out. That way it's not too easy. And probably gonna end up giving the Beast Wars team another try with Tantrum on the next couple missions. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this gameplay video with Prowl. Uh, let me know your thoughts if you guys had the opportunity um, to rank up whether it's Prowl, Windblade, Kickback, Bumblebee, Barricade. Uh, and we're losing network connection, but that's okay. <laughs> um, if you guys had the chance to rank any one of those up, let me know which one you guys, which scout you guys would rank up. Uh, so once again, thank you for watching guys, and I will see you all tomorrow.